Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer. In today's video, I have a really exciting makeup unboxing for you guys because this is my first purchase from Cleona Cosmetics. They are a Canadian indie makeup brand and I have been eyeing their beautiful eyeshadows for quite a number of years now and I have been waiting for just the right opportunity to jump on a sale and they had a really good one going on for Black Friday as well as a gift with purchase over a certain dollar amount and I think I hit that so I'm excited to see which eyeshadow is going to be our gift with purchase. We got a lot of really good eyeshadows in here so settle in for some really beautiful shifty things. I'm really excited. I also got one of their nail polishes from their newest collection. I actually could have gotten quite a few of those but I was trying to be good <laughs> because I was all Already getting quite a number of eyeshadows from them so let's go ahead and dig in and if you are new to my channel normally you would see me talking about nail polish but every so often I do a video on makeup or jewelry so they do have a nice little thank you card in there and then here's the goodies oh my goodness so beautifully packaged nice and safe in there so right on the top we've got a little Cleona Cosmetics sticker and some business cards. You get a list of ingredients as well, so you can refer back to that. Ooh, and another Cleona Cosmetics, their stained glass sticker. That is beautiful. So this has a little welcome to our Slickadelic collection pamphlet here. This goes over what I believe is the new nail polish collection since all of them were magnetic. So this goes over how to apply a magnetic polish and how to use the magnet. So here is our one lone little nail polish. This one is called Warped, and it is a magnetic. So let's look at this beauty. So first of all, I absolutely love their bottles. I love the square faceted look to them. They've also got these really beautiful like rose gold caps, and they feel really nice to open. Very high quality feeling product. So the nail polish on this one is one of those multi-chrome bases that's really hard to describe. There's so many different colors going on. Mainly what I'm seeing in person is like a magenta to purple on the face of the bottle. I think you're seeing that as like a blue to aqua with purple around the edges. And in person around the edges, I'm seeing like a vivid green to like a darker shade of green with shifts to orange and gold. So there is a lot going on in here. There's also like a larger particle in here that I think might be like a micro... A holographic glitter. You can see that sort of twinkling away there at the face of the bottle. So let's see how this looks magnetized. Ooh, so we've got sort of a blue to purple magnetic line that gets pulled up. I think this is going to look stunning on the nail. You still get so many different colors going on in the base. That red to green to gold is really, really strong. And like I said, on camera, you're seeing that as completely different colors. So this is going to be quite the shifter. So our first item was Cleona Cosmetics Warped. And look at that bottle shot. I don't know if that's going to come across as good as it is in person, but in person, I am seeing rainbows, you guys. This is gorgeous. And we will do swatches of this and the makeup after I've got everything unboxed. All right. Oh, we did get the gift with purchase. Yay. All right. Do I dig in now or later? I think we're going to open this at the end. Okay. So first of all, we've got one big item here. This is one of their palettes. I had been wanting to get these for a long time as well. I knew when I placed an order for their eyeshadows that I would at least get the mini palette. And since they were having a sale, I did decide to get both the big one and the little one. They had it in sort of a duo pack for the both of them. And this feels way too, wow. Ooh, look at this, wow. The quality on this is um, very impressive. So you have a magnetic closure. It does come with a mirror there. And this is way thicker than I imagined it being, but I'm sure that's because this has the magnetic in the back as well so that your eyeshadows will stick. But this is beautiful. So this is obviously the smaller one. You're gonna be able to place your eyeshadows in here and they'll stick to the backing. But that has a nice thickness to it as well. Very beautifully done. All right, let's get our big palette undone as well. 
All right, so here is our big guy. Wow. This one is almost as big as the box that they sent it in, and this is going to hold a lot more eyeshadow. I think I have it upside down there. So this one also has the mirror, and then you have a larger plate in here for all of your eyeshadows to stick in and to organize. I still don't know which one I'm going to end up using first, but we'll see how things go once I have all of the eyeshadows unpacked. All right, and here are our main attractions, the eyeshadow. Ooh, so excited. So I got nine of their eyeshadows. I'm really excited to see these in person. Like I said, I've been wanting to get them for quite some time. All right, so in group number one, we have this one here. I'm going to guess this is either abrasion or grisaille. I got both of them. I was going to try to talk myself into only getting one of them, but I just couldn't make up my mind between the two. So I got both and these are so nicely packaged. I don't know how to grab these out of here. Hang on. Okay, here we go. So this first one is Grisaille and it is one of their glitter multi-chromes. So this has a beautiful shift in it. This is one of my favorite kinds of shifts where you have this sort of a burgundy or berry base and then a green or a blue shift in it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's actually one of the first, if not the first, multi-chrome or duochrome eyeshadow that I ever got from back in the day and I actually can't remember the brand that it came from but it was a berry pink that shifted to like a dark green and it was one of my favorite eyeshadows one of the first things that I ever actually used completely up so I've been trying to find something very similar ever since and I think this one could be close such a beautiful color there so that was Grisaille and again we'll swatch all of these once I have everything unpacked all right, ooh, look at this one. This next one is a green. This one, I'm gonna guess, is either shard or mural. Ooh. Now this one's a little outside my wheelhouse as far as colors that I would normally go for. I normally would not have gotten a green, but the shifts on this looked absolutely dazzling. So look at that one. You've got this soft but bright green with a gold to pink flash. This one is Mural and it is one of their electric multi-chromes. So again, a beautiful color. In fact, I've already gotten some beautiful goodness on my fingers there. So, so pretty. So this is one that I'm really, really excited to see in person, see how it swatches. I am still a bit intimidated about getting this one on my eyes, but I did recently get a couple of colors from JD Glow, and I did wear some of the colors that I was a bit intimidated by, so I'm excited to try this one as well. So that one was Mural. All right, next up is this beautiful multi-chrome shifter. Now this one could be either Shard or Wall of Ivy. Look at that. So this is another one that has a lot of green in it but this time it's got more of like a brown burgundy base. And this one is Wall of Ivy. And this is one of their Earth Vibrant Multichromes. So this one is another in that sort of a family of colors where you've got like a deep burgundy to berry or pink with a green flash. I'm also seeing blue in there as well in the pan. So another beautiful one. I can't wait to see this one swatched. So that was Wall of Ivy. All right. Next up, you've got this one, and I think this is going to be abrasion. Ooh. So this is another one that I was really excited to see in person. When I was doing my comparisons between all of the different swatches online, I kept going back and forth between if I needed this one and Grisaille both, but I decided to get both. So um, I did see swatches that had them be fairly different from each other. So let me just confirm that this is what I think it is. And yes, this one is abrasion and this is one of their glitter multi-chromes. So another beautiful one. This is more of a purple base with that blue flash in it. Look at how gorgeous that is. Wow. All right. So that was abrasion. On to group number two, our bigger group. The first one on top is a white multi-chrome and this one has to be glow. They have quite a number of these like white based multi-chromes, but I did only get one. Ooh, look at the shinies. 
so pretty. Wow, these are packed so, so nicely. All right, so this one, just to confirm, is Glow, and it is one of their glitter iridescent multi-chromes. This one is kind of like a larger flake, which might be that glitter aspect. As far as I understood it, none of these are actually made with glitter particles, but they call them glitter because of the size of the particles. So I would more call the size of particle like a flaky. So you aren't going to have chunky glitter in there. This one has shades of pink, purple, green, and blue, maybe green and blue. Yeah, I think I'm seeing aqua in there. So this is another one. I mean, all of these really are ones that I'm super excited to see swatched. Wow, really, really pretty. So that one was glow. All right, next up, this one might be shard maybe. Wow, look at this one. So you can tell I have a type. This is, I think, my third deeper base of like a berry to burgundy with the greenish shift. This one also has other shifts in there though. Really beautiful. So this one is shard and this is one of their hybrid multi-chromes. So this one has like a wine burgundy base with a purple to aqua shift that you're seeing mainly on camera. I'm actually not seeing the aqua in person unless I put it down there. There you go. <laughs> so there you have purple to green. How interesting. So another beautiful one. That one was shard. And I'm going to set that one next to grisaille and abrasion so we can swatch them together. All right. Next up, we have sort of a copper to gold. And my guess is this one is going to be torch, maybe? No, it could be Eris, actually. Oh, yeah. No, this one is going to be Eris, I'm pretty sure. Yes, this one is Eris, and it is one of their hybrid multi-chromes. So this is one that shifts between like a pinky, coppery base. There's some pink flecks in there as well, and then I'm seeing shifts to gold. I think this is going to be one of the more wearable ones because it is sort of a neutral, but there's enough excitement in the different shifts that you're seeing to make it interesting as well. So that one was Eris. Next up, this one is probably Torch. Yeah, this one is Torch and it's another of their glitter multi-chromes. So this one is sort of a burnt red to copper. I'm seeing flecks of like a gold shift. On camera, in fact, you're almost seeing like a blue flash. So I'm really curious to see the different colors in this one, because again, on camera, I'm seeing very different colors than what I'm seeing in person. So again, different shifts, depending on how far away from my lighting I get. Up here, I'm getting more of the oranges. Down here, I'm getting pinks. So I'll set that one next to Eris to swatch. And our last one must be carving. So, oh, so pretty. So yeah, this one is carving and it is another of their glitter multi-chromes. And this is another in that same family where you've got the burgundy berry-like base with a green shift. Like I said, I have a type. This is the kind of eyeshadow I've been trying to replicate for over 20 years <laughs> from that one eyeshadow that I completely used up. So this one has more of a dusty red base to it. There's a lot of green flashing in here. I'm also seeing like flecks of silver. So this is absolutely gorgeous. We will again put this next to the other ones that are similar color combinations and swatch them all side by side. And these should fit nicely in our small pan here. So let's go ahead and first off before we do our swatches, see what our gift with purchase was. Ooh, what is this going to be? Okay, so this is our gift with purchase. I don't remember if this was like an, a previously unreleased eyeshadow or if it was specially made or what the case was about how they chose what they were giving away. But look at this one. Wow, I am seeing so many different colors in this. I'm seeing gold, pink, green. Wow. So this one is Happy Accident. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, so this one is one of their multi-chromes. And yeah, I'm seeing a lot of different colors in this one. I think we'll go ahead and swatch this one sort of in that same lineup with shard, abrasion, grisaille, and carving. And just see how it compares. I'm pretty sure the base is going to be completely different. But we'll swatch all of the ones with a green shimmer in it next to each other. And actually, when I set it down, 
the green sort of disappears. So maybe we'll also, maybe we'll swatch that down at the bottom and swatch it next to Torch. All right, so we are gonna start off the swatching with Wall of Ivy. So this feels really, really nice. Not too soft. I don't feel like I'm going to break through the pan at all. Ooh. Wow. So yeah, I would say that it's like a berry red base. And then a very beautiful shimmer in there. I hope even half of the colors are coming across on camera because in person this is stunning. Wow. Let's see about building that up. This is amazing. Look at that. Wow. Look at that green pop. And in person, I'm seeing so many other twinkles in here. It is gorgeous. Wow. So that one was Wall of Ivy. Next up, we're going to swatch Carving. The base on this one seems to be a bit more maybe fuchsia leaning, like a deep, deep fuchsia. And then you have those beautiful flashes of green and aqua. Wow, just absolutely gorgeous. Again, the uh, texture on this one is not so soft that I feel like I'm gonna break through the pan. This one does have a different consistency though. I, I don't know if you can see the larger particles on there. So it's like you've got uh, packed flakies, so it's gonna have a different texture. So here is carving. Ooh. Wow. So this one's a little bit lighter in its base. <laughs> On camera, I think they're coming across much more similar than they are in person. On camera, you're mainly catching the green and gold, but in person, Wall of Ivy has more green and carving, I'm seeing blue. So there are definitely differences. Let's go ahead and do a second layer. absolutely gorgeous there you can see the difference in the green as well wall of ivy is more of like a green green whereas carving has more of that blue tint to it in that green and i love the particle size on that that is really beautiful and there it is on the finger i think you can see the difference there as well there is a lighter um, opacity to carving all right, I think next we're gonna swatch this one, which was a Grisai. At least that's how I heard it pronounced before, so let me know if that's correct or not. But this one is another glitter multi-chrome. You've got a deeper berry base with some flashes of blue. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. This one has sort of a flaky, that glitter flaky texture as well, which I really like. Here it is on my finger. Beautiful. Definitely pinker than the other two. Again, I feel like on camera they're coming across much more similar than they are in real life. But that one is so gorgeous. Love the base on this one. Let's do a second little layer there. This one also blends really nicely. I think that's going to look gorgeous on. So in person, you're seeing more of the pink toned base, which I think on camera is reading more as like a brown leaning red. But there you can see some of the differences in their shifts and of course in their bases. I love this larger particle size, that glitter multi-chrome. Wow, absolutely beautiful. So that was Grisai. Next up, we're going to swatch Abrasion, another glitter multi-chrome. So yeah, we've got a, the same texture going on in all of the glitter multi-chromes. Beautiful. This is going to have more blue to green, I think. On camera, you're mainly seeing like a aqua. And in person, I'm seeing a blue. So I think this is going to shift beautifully. So here is Abrasion. Ooh, yeah, more of like a bruisey color. Give that second coat there. Second coat, second swipe. <laughs> Look at that. That is stunning. 
So yeah, you get sort of a bruisey purple behind that color and then a beautiful blue flash. By comparison, Grisaille has a bit less blue and more of like a teal that pops up. Wow, these are stunning. So, so gorgeous. There you go. I think that's a good angle to see all of the differences between those four colors. Next up is Shard, one of their hybrid multichromes. This one looks like it's going to have more of like an emerald color in the flash with a deep purple. Ooh, purple and blue. Look at that. That looks like an oil slick. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is beautiful. Look at those colors. This one also has sort of like a moody multi-chrome to it. You've got that deeper base with the colors that flash. By comparison between this one and Abrasion, this is a darker version of it. The base of it is uh, richer, not as pink. And there's a lot more different colors going on. They are kind of similar, but you see that greenish hue to shard that is not in Abrasion. You've got shifts to, I think, purple. Wow, so many colors going on. Very gorgeous. So let's go ahead and do a little second layer of shard. Yeah, in person from my angle, you've got a beautiful deep raisin going on. And then you've got some purple flash at the top of that. Whereas on camera, you're seeing a beautiful green. Wow, really beautiful colors there. All right, next up, we're going to do Happy Accident. I actually don't think this is going to be comparable to that one, especially um, the bases are very different. I could have lined these up a little bit different, but let's see what Happy Accident looks like. I'm not sure what formula this is offhand, but I would almost say it's one of their glitter formulas, their glitter multichromes. It's got that sort of a flaky texture to it. So on my finger, I'm seeing like a swampy green and gold. On camera, you're seeing that blush or pink pop up. Ooh, look at that. Wow. 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 Okay, so this, this is one that looks, again, completely different from different angles. On camera, you're seeing sort of this bronze with some pink flashes in it. But in person, I'm seeing this really interesting green, like a deep moody green with a beautiful bronze and pink flash to it. Wow. That is lovely. Wow. That's, I can't get over that. That is amazing. So I don't even think that really needs a second layer because it's very opaque all on its own in just that one swipe. But let's go ahead and see how it looks built up. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Happy accident indeed. That is amazing. Wow. I can't stop saying wow. <laughs> All of these really are very, very impressive. But there was happy accident, our gift with purchase. So lovely. All right. So one more in the sort of a green family before we move on to our warmer tones. This next one is going to be Mural, the electric multichrome. So this one also seems to have sort of a flaky texture to it. You can see that there at the edges. I love the different colors that you're seeing. I've got a strong gold to almost red flash at my angle. And on camera, you're seeing that as a pink to gold. So here is Mural. Ooh. Wow. So this is a softer color. Pretty wearable for being an electric color. I think this is going to be less intimidating than I thought. You have that beautiful, soft, but vivid green in the back. And then you've got the golds to pinks popping there in the shifting shimmer. Wow. Again, just wow. This is lovely. Let's do a second layer. Sort of build up that color. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. 
beautiful shift. And again, I love the particle size that they've used. It is absolutely beautiful. And all on my finger, just wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> All right, I think next we're gonna swatch our white. This is a Glow, a glitter iridescent multi-chrome. So this is another one that's gonna have a larger particle size. Ooh, this is actually softer than all of the other ones so far. Not by a whole lot, but you can sort of see bigger flakes in this one, it feels like. Maybe a slightly bigger particle size. So let's see what Glow looks like on. Ooh. Look at that. Wow. So I believe these white based shadows are basically like a clear base with the iridescent in them. So at angles, they're going to basically disappear and you're left with the different versions of the shifts. From my angle, I'm seeing different shades of blue and purple, whereas on camera, it's almost disappearing, which is really strange. But there is some green going on there that I think you're catching. Let's go ahead and build that up. I said you do see that in sort of like a translucent base so let's do a second swipe see about building that up Ooh, really gorgeous you're catching more of that aqua this is going to be a beautiful one to layer up over other colors build some shimmer and some beautiful shift absolutely gorgeous all right, next up we've got Eris. This was a hybrid multi-chrome. So this one has oranges, bronze, and some gold, some pink even. This one has a slightly softer texture as well, just ever so slightly. I don't know that you would really notice a difference unless you were swiping a bunch of different colors like this all next to each other. But there is Eris. Beautiful color there. Seeing the oranges and golds and flecks of pink in there. Beautiful and pretty wearable too. A lot of these are turning out not to be quite as intimidating, which is really nice. So let's do a second coat of Eris. Yeah, that is really lovely. Would have been a beautiful one to have for fall got those beautiful fall warm tones in there pinks golds and bronze very lovely so that was Eris and last but not least we have torch another glitter multi-chrome so this one should be another that has that larger particle size Ooh, look at that wow so this one has a lot more like a ready pink to it beautiful again the size of the particles in here are just gorgeous this one also isn't as intimidating as i was worried it could be but i'm sure you can build it up to whatever level of intensity you'd like let's do a second swipe there of torch wow another one that would have been really nice for fall this has a beautiful tone to it i love that you're getting more of an orange shift at the edges with that pink at the face Beautiful. So that last one was Torch. So there we have all of our colors swatched absolutely gorgeous colors definitely happy i finally went ahead and made a purchase of these i think i will have a lot of fun playing around with all of these colors like i said glow is going to be a great one for like inner corner highlights or brow bones or you can also layer it up over other colors to add a beautiful glow to your eye look but so many of these are ones that I can definitely see myself wearing. Very good first impression of these eyeshadows. If you have any favorites from this company, definitely feel free to share them down below. I was blown away with the variety that they had. They seem to have quite a number of lines and 
formulas and a ton of beautiful colors. I did sort of avoid their intense multi-chromes, the ones that were black based because I was a bit intimidated by those. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, think about hitting that little subscribe button down below. Like I mentioned at the beginning, normally you'll be seeing me talk about nail polish. So if you like that sort of thing, I'd love for you to stick around. And speaking of nail polish, we still need to swatch our nail polish. So this one was Cleona Cosmetics Warped. Let's see how this one swatches. So here is our first coat. I am loving the particle size in here. Wow, so many twinkles. So pretty. Wow. So there it is in one coat. I love all of the colors that I'm seeing. The unmagnetized portion sort of darkens into like a deep blue and then you're left with like this larger sized red sparkle throughout and then the magnetic line on camera is a brilliant blue but in person I'm seeing pinks and purples so there are going to be lots of different colors that you see depending on your lighting let's do a second coat now if you are intimidated by the magnetic process or you, you don't like how magnetic polishes look you don't have to wear these magnetized you can always just paint them on like normal polish and wear them unmagnetized there it is in two coats just look at that that is gorgeous wow there i think you're catching what i'm seeing in person in that shift towards the edge of that line you're seeing the blue but as I shift it towards a different light, you're catching some of the pink and purple. Stunning, absolutely gorgeous. This is making me second guess only getting one. So I will have to keep an eye out for their next sale and see about swiping some more from this collection because that is beautiful. So that was Cleona Cosmetics Warped. All right, and there we have it. That was my first ever haul from Cleona Cosmetics. I do have at least two polishes that I got from Cleona in their polish pickup releases. So this will join at least a couple of polishes that I already have from them in my collection. Again, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hopefully enjoyed the change of pace looking at some gorgeous eyeshadow this time. As always, thank you so much for being here and I will see you in that next video.